So let's do a simple little lab here. I want you to go ahead and set a break on execute and a break on read write hardware breakpoint with WinDebug. You can just go ahead and pick your own locations and I'll pick my own and show you the video, video after the fact. Go ahead and list your breakpoints after you've set them with BA just to confirm they're set. Now, while you're sitting there in the debugger, you will not see the debug registers actually update immediately. So you need to run the debugger and then immediately stop it. And then at that point, you will see the debug registers updated. Then I want you to go back and look at debug register seven and eight, sorry, six and seven, and uh, also your debug registers, you know, zero, one, two, and three. You don't know exactly which ones will be filled in. It kind of depends on, you know, whether or not there were other debug breakpoints set, but realistically, you probably are not going to have any other ones set. So it'll probably be debug register zero and one, which get these two breakpoints. So go ahead and do that and go interpret the bits according to these register fields.